again! Here we are with the third episode of Navigation. In the previous episodes, we added Coffee Tracker functionality, enhanced the user experience with Navigation UI, and implemented conditional navigation. In this episode, we'll see how to organize the navigation graph by using nested graphs and using the include tag to import other graphs. This will allow us to modularize the app and see how navigation works with modules. Okay, time to fire up Android Studio and see how to use navigation with modules. Let's start with the navigation graph. Nested graphs can help you group a series of destinations within a parent navigation graph. Looking at the navigation graph, the coffee list and coffee entry dialog destinations are good candidates to convert into a nested graph. To do that, I select both fragments by holding Shift and select Move to Nested Graph. Now switching to the code view, you can see that a nested graph is simply a navigation graph inside the root graph. Navigation between the selected fragments is moved into the nested graph. Nested graphs must have an ID. You can use this ID to create actions to navigate to the nested graph but not directly to its child destinations. Nested graphs have their own start destination and don't expose their child destinations separately. If you double click on the nested graph, then you can see the nested destinations and actions between them. Instead of using nested graphs, I can also extract the graph into a new navigation XML file. I create a new XML file called Coffee Graph and move the contents of the nested graph into this new file. I can nest this new graph into the other one using the Include tag. Using the Include tag offers the same functionality as nested graphs, but lets you use other graphs from other modules or libraries. Similar to nested graphs, included graphs don't expose the list of destinations in the included graph, which means I need to update the menu IDs which refer to coffee list. I update the menus to use the included graph's ID. Since coffee list is the start destination of the included graph, I can use the graph ID to navigate to this graph. If you try the app now, everything should be working as before. Now that the navigation graph for coffee tracking is separate, this is a good time to modularize the app and see how navigation works with modules. If you want to follow along, you can check out the repo link in the notes below, which has all the necessary changes to start using modules. I create two new modules, core and coffee. I move all common classes such as Donut, Coffee, DAOs, Database, and other common resources to the core module. Next, I move all fragments, view models, and adapter classes used in coffee tracking into the coffee module. Layouts and other resources used in coffee tracking are also moved here as well as the coffee graph. Coffee module depends on core module. Finally, in the app module, I add coffee and core modules as a dependency. Note that nothing changes in the navigation graph. It's not affected from these changes. Now if I run the app, everything works as it used to, but using modules instead. With this change, I separated the coffee tracker module and its navigation from the rest of the app, which means the coffee tracker module can be used independently from the donut tracker. In this episode, we've seen how to create nested graphs and how to use include tag to modularize the donut tracker app. Next episode, we'll take this further and learn how to use navigation with future modules. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. See you in the next episode.